click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss the units of a memory. Let's start with the discussion. So, memory unit defines the capacities to store the data inside the storage unit. With the use of four terms, you can easily define the data storage inside the storage unit. The first feature for memory unit is bit. If you want to store the binary information that is 0 or 1 only, then bit type of memory unit you can use to define the numbers. It will show the on and off state of any system. The next memory unit is nibble. So if there is a group of four bits, then it is called as the nibble. You can use this unit as per your application. After that, you have next memory unit that is byte. So one byte is consists of eight bits. If inside your program, there is a group of 8 bit for defining any variable or a number then directly you can use the memory unit byte after that we have the memory unit word this word memory unit is consists of fixed number of bits as per the requirement inside the program the minimum value for word should be 8 bits or the maximum value will be up to 96 bits. As per the requirement inside the program, you can define the word in the computer system or while writing the program as per the applications. This is all about the units of a memory. Now some points we will discuss related to units of a memory. Now, if there is a requirement of storage of information more then again we have the units for the memory these units are kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabytes and petabytes so you can see inside the slide 1 kilobyte equals to 1024 bytes 1 megabyte equals to 1024 kilobytes. After that, we have 1 gigabyte, which is equals to 1024 kilobytes. Then, next memory unit, we have terabyte. 1 terabyte can be defined as 1024 gigabytes. After that, we have petabytes. Petabytes can be defined as 1 petabyte equals to 1024 terabytes. That is TB. So, if there is a requirement of storage of lot of information inside the computer system, then you can use this type of units to store the information. There are many applications which require huge number of information to storage inside the storage units. With the use of all these storage units, you can design your program as per the application. This is all about the memory units concepts. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.